So we're gonna talk about HWH leveling systems and the various cylinders, the most common ones that you're gonna see uh, or could be on your coach. First thing, uh, if you do have issues with your um, jacks, your cylinder rods returning up after you've uh, been camping a while, one of the most common calls we get is regarding the cylinder retraction. So. Most of the systems, uh, almost all the ones that we deal with are a one-way hydraulic, meaning hydraulic fluid will come in through the top of the cylinder, force the cylinder rod out of the housing and level your coach. And then there are springs on either side of the housing that uh, once you hit the store button or push the down arrow, will retract that cylinder back up into the housing. Uh, it'll come fast uh, as it's you know got the weight of the coach on it. But once there's no weight of the coach on it, the springs have to do all of the work. And that's where people have a lot of uh, issues as well as, you know, questions in general. So it's a pretty wide range in times, depending on the uh, size of the cylinder, the temperature outdoors. Uh, when your coach is out there, if it's really cold, that fluid just doesn't want to move. And it takes a lot longer for those springs to pull it up. But ultimately, if uh, your cylinders are taking, you know, three, four, five minutes, it's starting to get towards, potentially towards the end of its life. The, there is a spec that you can look up on our website that uh, does have the retraction times for most common cylinders and uh, should help you. A lot of people will automatically want to replace the springs, but in the reality, it, it doesn't solve these problems typically. We see it you know, help some of the time, but not all the time. So don't just immediately assume that replacing your springs is gonna fix your issue. Uh, most likely what we see is that throughout the course of the life of these cylinders is people don't use them enough. They just don't get enough exercise. And when you don't exercise these enough, there's internal uh, O-rings and wipers and seals that uh, just like your body, if you don't exercise it, it's uh, not going to work very well. They restrict, get tight. And what happens is, is that that inner cylinder, the rod, uh, does not like to go back up because there's so much restriction on it and the springs themselves cannot bring them back up to top dead center so your options are to purchase a new one like you've got three on the right here or a remanufactured one so we do stock a number of the most common cylinders in remanufactured parts which does save you, you know, anywhere from 150 to 250 dollars per cylinder and uh, they carry the same warranty 12 months from from hwh if you do have an issue with that cylinder it's uh will paid for for uh reinstallation and a new one a new remanufactured one if the case is you bought a remanufactured one but it's the same as new the point being here is that uh, not always replacing the cylinders is going to solve your issue first thing is two different styles predominantly out in the rv world first one being uh, the most common uh, actually, now, nowadays, there are some more common fixed ones, but this pivot style, so the uh, hydraulic cylinder ram goes on a fixture that's got two holes on either side, so it mounts and has a pivot point, so it can move a little bit with the, the chassis as, as you're uh, leveling to the different uh, surfaces out there. And obviously, these are the fixed style, so that's the first thing to notice the difference. Uh, second biggest difference, uh, there are two styles of foot pads. You can see on the end here, we call that a ball end or a pivot, you know, ball end uh, foot pad. So how these work, and these are, they do not make these, um, or I should say they do not put new systems with this style on it any longer for um, liability purposes. I'm pretty certain of that, but uh, because these uh, ball end fitting or these foot pads are hung on there with the springs or it's keep stays under tension via the springs in the housing and so if you did end up uh, rock or something damage a spring snap a spring you know they can break over time um, would cause this to possibly fall off and you definitely don't want that running down the highway uh, flying off behind you so that is a ball end style cylinder The next style is and most common nowadays. You can see right here, there's a threaded rod here on all three of these here. And how that works, similar, but so we go over the end and you've got a ball and socket that comes in this kit. 
that you would then have to fasten uh, that nut and sometimes you'll have to depending on your style uh, some of the bigger ones you won't have this but uh, also for replacement uh, they come in a part or in the in the, in the pack with the foot pad uh, the bolt so you'd have to many times these can snap uh, closer to the actual cylinder rod itself and if you can't back that out you may have to drill it out unfortunately so it can create a problem but Many of the foot pads do come with those parts in it. You can also buy these part kits separately. And depending on your jack style, we'd have to uh, help you figure out which one you need. Uh, or give us a call if you can't figure it out via our website. So those are the two different styles of foot pads and some of the more common things that get replaced on your HWH-11. As we talked earlier about cylinders in general, if they don't get enough exercise and use through the course of their, their lifetime, or if they spend a lot of time out in you know, salt air water or salt water air environments uh, with your jacks down uh, the entire times, that can also cause some, some shortening of the life of the, of the cylinders themselves. So, Ultimately, uh, if springs don't make a difference, and again, don't always just jump to that conclusion that springs are gonna, gonna solve your problem because uh, many times it does, and we see you know, a small percentage increase in improvement in retraction times, but ultimately it's not the, you know, the silver bullet or magic bullet that everyone is looking for. So don't always rush to replace your springs. Ultimately though, these cylinders you know, can age and through that time, the retraction time just uh, can get uh, to be a, a challenge. So your two options again are to purchase a new one. You know, we stock most of the common ones and then and if we don't have it, we can get it drop ship from HWH. Uh, or your other option, we do do our best to stock as many remanufactured cylinders. You see there really isn't much, if any difference between a new cylinder and a remanufactured one. They do go through all the same testing and specs to ensure that the remanufactured is as good as new and it holds the same 12 month warranty as a brand new cylinder does. I have them in my coach and I would trust them. Uh, shoot, I've had them in there for four years now, I believe. So I uh, had very good success with uh, remanufactured and, and all of our customers do as well. And they are remanufactured at HWH, uh, not you know, at a local shop like ours or just a local hydraulic shop. Uh, all too often we see that these are manufactured in a very different way. Uh, these welded tops always, always, always pose a problem to most shops. So I would highly recommend that you do not take these to a local hydraulic shop, even if they tell you, yeah, we can figure that out. I would uh, just be a little suspect of it because most times what we see is they, they don't last but uh, six months, maybe a year. Sometimes you get lucky and get a couple years out of them, but ultimately the heat that goes into this uh, cylinder when it gets remanufactured, unfortunately, makes this life uh, shorten dramatically.